Today, we'll simulate flow over an airfoil. We have chosen NACA 2412 for simulation. First, download CVC file of points on the surface of airfoil. The file can be downloaded for any airfoil from airfoiltools.com. Link is given in description. Open the file. Copy the coordinate given for airfoil surface. They have to be written in a specific way for Design Modular to read it. The first column represents group number. Put 1 throughout the column. Second group is serial number of points. Next three columns are X, Y, and Z coordinates for airfoil. As airfoil is a 2D object, third column has to be 0. Copy these columns in a text file. And save it. Open Design Modular in a new project. Set the units to millimeters. Go to Concepts and click 3D Curve. Select a base plane and then navigate to the text file saved in your local storage. DM has interpolated a curve from the points. Remember that this curve is not close. We have to close the ends. Go to Concepts and click on Line from Points. Generate it. And then go back to Concepts and select Surface from Edges. Select both the edges and generate it. As discussed earlier, flow area is needed in fluent, not the actual geometry. We have to draw an enclosure from which this surface will be subtracted. Select arc by center and make a semicircle originating from trailing edge of airfoil. Then close the sketch. Make a surface from the new sketch as well. Fluent changes the former surface to frozen so that the two geometries remain separate things. Older versions of Insys might not do it automatically. So, do it yourself if DM doesn't make two different bodies. For subtraction, select Boolean from Create. First select the body that needs to be retained. Then the body to be subtracted. Now, for better control on mesh generation, we split the new surface from wherever there are discontinuities. In this case, it is the airfoil surface. Split the face from face split given in tools.
Now we have two different faces. A combination of face meshing and edge sizing will make the desired mesh by making the algorithm follow geometry boundaries and also keeping the mesh size as per our requirement. Mesh size of 5 mm has been chosen. A well-structured C-type mesh has been created. Mesh is really fine along the airfoil which is desirable. One thing to notice is the trailing edge of airfoil. When you choose large mesh size, sometimes structured mesh is not obtained because of this trailing edge. In that case, split the face further from the two points on the trailing edge horizontally, in the same way this mesh has formed along it. Then give separate mesh size control to the new small horizontal face. Anyways, the mesh size isn't much of a problem here as only 115,000 mesh elements are formed. Let's move on to setup. Our velocities will be in turbulent regime. Select K epsilon with standard wall functions for viscosity modeling. It is the most widely used model for turbulent regimes, especially in the case of airfoils and wings. Check other settings. Surface body is fluid. Set the boundary conditions. Set the boundaries as zero shear walls which are supposed to be in free stream. Careful while assigning inlet velocity. As the inlet boundary is not a straight edge, we will give components of velocity rather than a magnitude perpendicular to the edge. Later one doesn't make any sense. Give 30 meter per second as X component. Keep other components zero. Now comes the most important part, the reference values. In this simulation, we need to set right values of area and velocity. First, what are these values? These are the values of area and free stream velocity fluent will use for calculating force and moment coefficients. For airfoils, plan form area is taken for calculation of lift and drag coefficients. So, for airfoils it becomes the cord length. As for the velocity, it is the free stream velocity. In our case, it is 30 meter per second. Now, go to Report Definitions for creating plots of CL and CD. Click New, Force Report, then drag. Let's name it CD. This option will generate a plot for CD. From this option, we make sure that its value is also displayed in the console apart from the graph. Repeat the same procedure for lift coefficient.
Initialize the solution and run calculations. Solution converged in just 30 iterations. Value of CL is 0.22 and CD is 0.0187. That's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe. New tutorials will be uploaded soon. Thank you for watching.